Hello, it's Randy Dewey, and today I have Amanda Holmes, CEO of Chet Holmes International. I loved her earlier chat and certainly been following you and all the vast things that you've been doing, an exciting person with lots going on. And, you know, our audience loves to hear stories of how great leaders have handled unexpected crises. So tell me, explain a time when you experienced an unexpected crisis as a C-suite executive, and how did you leverage that for an opportunity for growth? Oh boy. Well, <laughs> um, my biggest one would be um, my father passing. That would be mm. the biggest. Nine years ago, um, he was running a very successful uh, couple hundred staff, couple hundred thousand clients, uh, marketing and sales training company. He wrote one of the New York Times bestselling books, Ultimate Sales Machine, and the top 10 most recommended sales books of all time. And here I am, a 24 year old singer songwriter uh having no I, there was no succession plan there was no plan for me to take over the business and he was gone and uh i had no idea what to do and mm -hmm. um it started with just sitting in on calls and thinking and uh listening to yes listening to everything that was being said and i finally would start to ask questions because i feel that when things get very uh turbulent people just start saying this is what you need to do this is how you need to do it right which is mm. just we should be asking questions we should be listening right, right especially right. when executives come into a, something that's already established like what i had mm -hmm. so the first was just starting to ask questions to better understand to respect what's there to respect what is working to understand what is working to understand what is broken and then to focus on those parts that are broken um so through that uh one of the we had a lot of problems the first year that i came in oh my goodness um my cfo used to say that a majority of executives never experienced the amount of hardships that i experienced in their entire careers that i experienced in <laughs> one year so i mean like merchant services shut down so i couldn't pay all the hundreds of staff i'm like what's emergent services <laughs> you know we were in between we were we had just spent half a million dollars on a new crm system we were about to go into salesforce and then we decided to stop and i'm like what's a crm system i mean it was just like it was an utter nightmare um but through it all i started studying my father's material because i'd never read my father's book i'd never saw his trainings i never went to his so i became just like everyone else that that studied his material and um the first thing I did was innovate our front end. Uh, I used our dream buyer strategy and found all the most influential people in our industry. And um, I marketed with them so it wouldn't cost me a dime to utilize the fact that they had a wonderful list that was similar to who we marketed to. I built out at that time a webinar that was purely educational, the three, the three ways to, um, the, sorry, the three strategies to double sales. Mm -hmm. So it was all pure education, what we teach, education-based marketing. And at the end, we'd give an offer. And from that, I was able to double our coaching clients two years in a row, which was a shock. Wow. I mean, I'm on with hundreds of CEOs, right? And I here I am, a 26-year-old singer-songwriter. Like, <laughs> what is going on? It, I look back and I'm like, what was I thinking? But you know, in dire of times, you have to do something. 